both SMEs. Um, welcome to your Monday morning brief. We've been spoiled with a great sunrise this morning. Um, so it's a good start to the day, good start to the week, I think. Um, today I'd like to touch on communication. Um, two two uh, quotes that uh, have struck me recently, which I think are worth talking about. Firstly, is that uh, the greatest issue with communication is the illusion that it's happened, or something to that effect. And the second one is, when it comes to an issue, 10% of the issue, or the perceived issue, is actually the issue itself. 90% of it is actually the way in which it's been communicated. So, firstly, how do we deal with uh, the illusion that communication has taken place? Essentially, three three steps. Uh, firstly, we need to get feedback. So while we're talking, we need to be um, make it, uh, having having people actively listening to them. So check with their body language. You know that they're nodding, that they're paying attention, that they aren't on their phone or whichever, or not paying attention. Um, so getting that active feedback. Uh, positive communication. Uh, so not only do they there and talking with you, they're giving you, um, giving the, you the cues to, to carry on, or that they're up to speed with what you're talking about. Getting that positive communication will help you identify areas that you need to rehash in order to go forward. And then lastly, actually have them communicate back to you what you what you've spoken about in their words. So my concern here is that so often you'll be um, standing with somebody having a conversation, except. There's actually two separate conversations happening at that time. Sort of, you're talking apples, they're talking oranges. You think you're making think you're making sense with each other. Yet we're both talking fruit, and you walk out the door. Uh, lots and lots of issues have, have come from that. You know, uh, a lot of the in incident investigations that I'll um, have been called out to the past, particularly the major ones, is people think that you know people think that we're doing oranges, but we're actually doing apples. And it's it's not that the conversation hasn't taken place. It's that that communication of information hasn't taken place. The second point um, around where there's an issue, it's 10% issue, 90% of 90% of the communication, or 90% um, of the tone of voice or the, or the language or the communication, the type of the flavour of the communication um, is contributing so much uh, to, to the issue. Uh, and so that, that's actually the part that needs the most attention to get the resolution that you're after. So in practice that would look a lot like, or the way I would look to deal with that, is workshop their point of view. Is there somebody that I know that I need to have a chat with? I know that there's an issue, and I know that we're going to have, you know, that, that it's going to be quite a fiery, you know, quite an enthusiastic uh, uh, bit of bit of chat. Um, I like to, to get their point and counter and argue it to myself, even if I have to get in front of a mirror and sort of argue back at myself as to why I would disagree with what my message is. And so, at least when you go and have that conversation, you're already half in their frame of mind, and so you can sort of understand the, the play from the way they see it. You know, so often, I'll see if I can put up an image. Um, so often, you know, two people looking at the same thing see two different things. Um, none of them, no, no, nobody's more right than the other, but there will, there will be a way in which to get the outcome that the, uh, the project or the team or whichever desires by, you know, converging on the same way of thinking. So in doing that, um, you know, I'll rehearse the, the counterpoint with myself. So then when I do have the chat, I can be elegant and empathetic to them. Uh, often, where there is issues, it usually resolves, revolves around, um, you know, it'll be a time pressure or a cost pressure or a, you know, a critical path pressure. So for me, it's sort of, you know, I may go out with, with one requirement in mind, but what I'm, what I'm really concerned about is something sort of the medium to long game, as opposed to what they're worried about, and that is they can't even breathe until they've got their concrete chutes set up because they've got 15 trucks running down the road. Or um, you know they, they, they can't even think straight because you know if they don't if they don't have this next bit of work sorted by the end of the day, then the next you know the next separable portion of the PC may be missed, in which case that may that may impact the information that I had to come and give to them or, or, or the direction that I had for them, but in many cases it's not. And by uncovering that issue then and there, then rather than going head to head with each other, you can actually get in get in the same boat and start rowing together, as opposed to constantly fighting each other because. Not only then are we wasting so much energy, we're actually um, we're actually blocking them from the ability or, or helping them to realise the concern that, that you know the, the issue that they were so concerned about in the first place. You know, don't be in there putting on a handbrake and an anchor if the point that I have is not relevant or, or can wait. Maybe it can't wait, and then we can have that chat. But the thing is, for me, if what I'm talking about is less urgent or perceived to be less urgent than what they're dealing with, then I, then we won't have a good outcome. So it's, it's you know it's about making sure that we're we're talking about talking in a way or communicating in a way that's empathetic with people's positions, um, and that can only happen with good active listening. Got to cover off in point number one. Uh, that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed or enjoying our Monday morning briefs. Um, 
I look forward to catching you next week. If you've got any other queries in the meantime, then you're welcome to reach out and get in touch with me. I'd be happy to hear from you. Thanks very much. Cheers.